Tonight, Cal Fire says lighter winds slow down the fire activity. Crews were able to cut containment lines protecting Christmas Valley and the Tahoe Basin. They also continued to set back fires in neighborhoods. Still no homes lost in Tahoe. The fire remains at 210,000 acres. Containment has jumped to 27%. The bad news, with damage assessments well underway, the number of homes lost overall is up to 649. And we've been keeping our eye on Heavenly tonight. The view from our alert wildfire camera on the top of the mountain. You can see those flames burning in the distance. CBS 13's Melina Jones is live near Heavenly tonight with the plan of attack in the coming days. Melina. Yeah, well, this is a go to spot for vacationers, usually bustling with people. Heavenly is known for its winter crowds with the gondola and bringing crowds into the summer months with live performances. But now hundreds of emergency crews are here working through the night, preparing for temperatures to heat back up into the weekend and making air attacks through the night. Smoky skies blanketing the Tahoe Basin, showing signs of the road ahead. We definitely have a lot of concerns still left. We are not anywhere near out of the woods yet. A break in the winds and lower temperatures Thursday are allowing fire crews to make a direct attack. Lisa Cox, spokesperson for Caldor Fire Operations, is hoping humidity helps the fire fight. And below that inversion layer, it gets pretty, um, we do have really good humidity recovery, and that allows firefighters to do a lot of work uh, in the middle of the night. Just within the last 24 hours, this heavenly ski resort that is normally a popular destination for travelers to come in the winter, it's now the headquarters for emergency management services. You can see dozens of trailers taking over this parking lot for the multi-agency approach, trying to get a handle on the Caldor fire. And the purpose of that is so we can order more resources, get them out into the field as quickly as possible. Backfire operations in Christmas Valley working to slow the flames south on 89 and away from nearby neighborhoods. This is Cal Fire uses the highway as a defense line. I wouldn't expect evacuations to change anytime soon. There's still a very active fire threat in this area and a lot of fuel. The worry tonight, active spot fires jumping containment lines. Spotting about a half mile ahead of itself or less. So that means that we can't really put fires ahead of that flame front. So, and especially during night operations. Now, tonight, helicopters will be making both water and retardant drops in hopes to gain more control over this fire as we head into the weekend. Their concerns are that winds will pick back up and, you know, prevent the progress that they've already made so far. And so they're hoping that that doesn't threaten any more progress on this fire.